So what's the background? I treat borreliosis in the same way as I treat cancer. So what is in the background of cancer? Self-sacrifice. I am a victim of my life circumstances. I um, sacrificed myself for my parents, for somebody else, for and it's always first the others and then maybe me. Small I, great, large you, big we. Very altruistic. And his immune deficiency was progressing quickly. He had recurrent infections and very short frequently colds, laryngitis, pharyngitis. As soon as one cold was over, he developed the next one. And I also realized miasmatically we are dealing with scrofulosis. A scrofulous foundation. On the mental side, scrofulosis means we are dealing with people who work a lot, workaholics, who um, are career-minded and who almost always struggle, strive for recognition, to hear you are great. Then they always say, ah, oh, no, it's not that bad, and it's not that big, I still didn't manage this, I still didn't do that, I'm not that good. But at the same time, they say, yeah, please, more, more recognition, more of this. So we have this discrepancy, and the background of this is a low self-confidence, which is why they are very career-oriented, and they are putting in a lot of work. Scrofulosis shows itself in the beginning as only mild pathologies in childhood. Scrofulosis is um, a disease which frequently appeared after wars in times of famine and so on. The children have frequent otitis media, sinusitis, pharyngitis, laryngitis, the upper respiratory tract. Um, they have enlarged cervical glands and they have scabs. What is remarkable in scrofulosis is that these people usually work their way up from humble beginnings. To integrate this, I'm coming from a very low, small background. Now I'm a professor. The diseased side says, I am ashamed that my parents were so poor or that my parents came from a very low social background. I actually don't want to have anything to do with that. That's the diseased side of scrofulosis. I'm working with a dynamic miasmatic system, scrofulosis, in the same way as the tubercular miasm contains a destructive core and these symptoms can very quickly become destructive. That's the special thing, same as in tubercular miasm. Anemia and within a very short time you can develop severe blood disease. In scrofulosis it's the same. So there's a relation between top and bottom. Scrofulosis is a quite harmless miasm, but syphilitic miasm is not. And so scrofulosis for a long time was not really realized. It's a mixture of uh, sora, the skin from sora and the mucous membranes, and the upper respiratory uh, areas from the tubercular miasm. They both are contained in scrofulosis. The result of the suppressed borreliosis is something which became destructive in this person. It's not only scrofulosis anymore, it became syphilitic. This man became very depressive, said, I'm worth nothing anymore. I have no rights. I built up a career, but it's worth nothing, which is typical in scrofulosis patients. I've seen this frequently. They can have titles, professor, doctor, uh, whatever, 
when they become ill, they say, I'm a nobody. Just call me by my last name. But it's not good. I say, no. I'm going to address you, address you with your title, of course. Ah, you don't need to do that. It's worth nothing. I'm worth nothing. It's very typical for people with a uh, scrofulosis foundation. In this patient, we had a dramatic atrophy of the muscles of the left calf, very strong sleeplessness, and very negative self-image. What I told you, I'm worth nothing. I'm 70, and nobody needs me anymore.